appropriate ways for parents to deal with reasons why their children don't get married. First, there are various reasons why children do not choose marriage. There may be financial concerns, achieving personal goals, or differing beliefs about marriage. As parents, it is important that our children respect and support their life choices. You may be worried or anxious about your child not getting married, but don't force that on your child. It is important to try to understand the child's perspective and perspective through open and understanding dialogue. You should also remember that it's okay not to get married. If your children are happy and satisfied, lately, it seems like many parents are sad that their children don't want to get married. Whether children get married or have a relationship when they get older is something they should decide for themselves, and mothers shouldn't interfere. Children are already adults and there is no need to overprotect them. In our grandparents' generation, large families were common. It was a system of extended families, with brothers living under the grandfather and grandchildren living under him. However, in our generation, about 50 to 60 years ago, the lifestyle changed to one in which parents and children played a central role. Later, the family system in which only a married couple and one child lived became mainstream. These days, it is said to be the era of eating alone. The world is changing so amazingly that it's best to stop talking about marriage and relationships. Only thinking about the times we lived in. My mother might think the same way after seeing the way I live my life. What does the life I'm living now look like to you? I've never heard of it, but maybe my mom would think there's nothing wrong with me. If she sees me the way I am now. Also, my father sometimes says to me, even grass leaves seeds. However, if humans, the parents of all things, do not leave behind any seeds. That is not human nature. This is my view, as the next Buddhist priest is splendid, and there are many pupils. A son and a daughter say being enviously saying, it is an all dead language. It means that the viewpoint of the people who lived in the time was so. Therefore, regardless of the opinions of father, I may not be accepted even if I say anything. Therefore, I see, I gradually elude it for father, the feeling that I understood well. Therefore it may be parents that worsen me, most when it is parents that give me most, and it is over 20 years old until 20 years old. The parents must be aware that it is the existence that oneself worsen. A child most, too. It means that the child worsens so that parents preach you a sermon. Buddha left one child too and was become a priest. But you might become Buddha when you did not become a priest. To hear the words of the parent who stopped it, or were you not able to become me? If Buddha worsened, where is the further enemy? Therefore I do not think that a child goes along. Because parents said such a thing, I will not probably do it. That's why parents have to stop doing this too. Our son will have a woman somewhere, we may not know who it is but he will live well on his own. And our daughter will also have her own man, so she will live well on her own. People over the age of 20 are free to live together, have a relationship, or get married overseas. Every time a mother asks what her child is, she is on my side. If I decide, my mother will fully support me. I should encourage my son and my daughter to believe in them. The parent should believe a child even if I cannot believe the world. I may say, it is that I decided, if I hear a daughter gets married. And what mother thinks of the man? The child may say, still mother should worry a little. When I ask it how mother knows it, still the child will say, mother does not understand it. Even if mother says, be identified. And mother should say, see mother a little, in this way if said. Saying if, I looked at the man so well, I would find a person similar to your father. It is that it should become clear. I mean that own man may not be ascertained saying, I am poor judge of men. And it may be said, I may look at the man of another person. How though even my man may mistake it. It is the role of the true parent in this way to separate clearly. So that a child lives in own life by oneself. When a child is small, a parent's love is to warmly take care of the child. And when the child grows up, 
A parent's love is to calmly cut off the child's affection. Parents need to do it. No matter what others say, we always say to our children, Mom, I always believe in you, and I will absolutely support whatever choices I make. Should. Don't say when you're going to get married or when you're going to be a wife. The biggest factor that a youth does not want to return to. The hometown is pressure when gets married. It is the reason that wants to least go home. Therefore, the children may come home with nature for the sermon of the parent. Though a parent brings up a child and sent it to the university. Even if it is said to be it when I return to be up at 400 a. m. and to do 108 times of prayer and is made to do various things. I can see what grow up without the youths. Who finished the priest type for 100 days making an excuse at all. Though the place where the meal lies badly has a hard time badly as I am not taken care of enough. There are many people who enter here and live such a life. What is the reason? It does not preach you a sermon here. But this is because a parent preaches you a sermon though there is a comfortable bed in the house and does anything. You should treat it as an adult to a child if I exceed 20 years old. But it means that I am still doing infantilization. From today, you guard it for the child, and please contact as an adult. If was the relations of a protector and the ward, but exceed 20 years old. Until now of one to one between adults please contact so that is related. If mother detects it as an adult in this way, the child can become adult with pride outside. When mother always preaches you a sermon and is doing infantilization, it is difficult for a child to be brought up well. How can a person be respected in society if he can't even trust his own mother? If you, as a parent, have had the pleasure of raising your children to the fullest, you will not be sad at all even if your children grow up and fail to be filial. In the process of raising a child, parents do not even think that they have poured love and sacrifices into their child because they have already experienced the joy of being a parent. Therefore, the parents will be happy and grateful if the child just becomes independent and stands up for himself. On the other hand, no matter how good a parent is, if they think that they raised the child, they can be disappointed in their child and feel pain. If you live your life with a sense of responsibility, you may be able to say that you are living your life to the fullest, but when you actually look back on it, it is easy to feel that your entire life is empty. People who talk about being devoted to their families and sacrificing for their children probably have a sense of mission in their hearts. When you have a sense of mission, you may feel burdened with responsibility, but no longer think that you are sacrificing yourself for your child. Rather, it's important to tell your children, I'm happy because of you. And even if you and your husband sometimes complain, it's important to make them think, because of you, my life has joy. By appreciating others in this way, your family will be harmonious, and you will naturally become a good mother, wife, father, and husband. Don't think of making sacrifices for anyone. Thinking like this can lead to reward psychology, which can lead to dissatisfaction, which can lead to unhappiness. Therefore, living for someone else will lead you away from a free and happy life. When parents make unconditional sacrifices for their children, their expectations rise and children end up living with the heavy burden of their parents' expectations. If you think of parenthood as a sacrifice for your children, it will become a shackle for you. So unless you let go of the idea that you are doing this for you, neither your child's life nor your parents' life will be happy. They are our precious children. In order to raise your precious child as a fine adult, let's carefully lend a helping hand with the heart of a parent. If you are over 20 and it doesn't work out, don't tie it up or interfere. Parents only need general supervision. Never interfere too much. The best time for parents to set an example for their children is when they are young. Until the age of three, children must be raised carefully. This is because the love that parents give during this period has a great influence on the child's personality. Appropriate teaching methods vary depending on the time. Until the age of three, parents protect their young with their lives. Just as a mother bird protects her chicks, 
When it comes to kindergarten and elementary school, parents should lead by example. In middle school and high school, children should not be overly interfered with, but should be trusted, watched over, and given the confidence to become adults. To a child, the mother and father are the whole world and God itself. In order to raise children healthily, it is important for husbands to make their wives comfortable and considerate for wives to trust their husbands and for the couple to live happily together and set a healthy example. Remember that if parents are not happy, children cannot be happy either. Parents were also human beings living their own lives before becoming parents. So it is never wrong to pursue your own happiness. Parents should leave their children's lives to their own devices and live for their own joy.